This is a demonstration of problem 1134B, computing times interest earned ratio. The income statement for Vermont Communications follows. Assume Vermont Communications signed a three month, 3% $6,000 note on June 1st, 2018, and that this was the only note payable for the company. In requirement one, it states fill in the missing information for Vermont's year ended July 31st, 2018 income statement. So the problem has given us the income statement for the year ended July 31st, 2018, and we need to complete this, and then we're going to use some information from this to compute the times interest earned ratio. We notice that we're missing the interest expense and then net income before interest income tax expense and then an update on net income. So we need to compute first the interest expense as of July 31st, 2018. The problem stated we signed a $6,000 note that was for 3% and then it was signed on June 1st and now we're at July 31st. So that means we've had two months out of 12 or one sixth of the year. So our interest expense is gonna be the $30. Next, we're going to need to compute what is our net income before income tax expense. Well, we have the operating income given to us, $12,060, and then we would subtract from that that $30 in other revenues and expenses, and we get in net income before income tax expense of $12,030. Then the, the next thing we're going to need is net income. So we have $12,030 net income before tax, income tax expense of 2410, and that gives us $9,620 in net income, and the spreadsheet has also calculated that amount. So now we have all the information that we need to compute the times interest earned ratio for the company. So the net income that we have is $9,620. Our interest expense that we're going to add back is $30, and we're going to also add back that income tax expense. So that amount would be our numerator, and then we're going to divide it by our interest expense so we can determine how many times we would have been able to pay that interest expense. So based on the information we have, we could have paid that interest expense 402 times based on net income before income tax expense and interest expense. So that is the conclusion of the demonstration for problem 1134B.